Um, so welcome, first of all, this is the first, very first Arabian Corner. You'll all know us um, as doing the previous Caribbean Corners. Um, so we've decided to move into Arabia. So we've got some fantastic presentations today um, that are really going to get you Arabian dreaming. Um, I just want to introduce everybody first before I hand over to the team and let them do their bit. Um, so at the top left you've got Aspen. Um, she's from the Departure of Culture and Tourism of Abu Dhabi. Um, we have got um, where are we? Ahmed from Fairmont Ajman yeah. uh, and also you've got Abu Dhabi and Dubai. Perfect. Um, and then we've got the teams, which I think you all know Sangeeta, um, but we've also got Medi and Lorenzo from Address Hotels. Um, so just to let you all know, the prize that we're going to be doing, the four nights um, stay at the Address Hotels, which is an amazing hotel, which you're going to see a little bit more of today. Um, you need to be signed up to email bookingrewards.co.uk. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the spin to win, which you all love, We'll do it tomorrow. We'll announce it live on Facebook, but you have to be on the webinar for the full duration and you also have to be signed up to email booking rewards. So without further ado, I'm going to start the webinar and say thank you for joining us. Um, and I'm going to hand over to Aspen from Abu Dhabi. Great. Let me just get my screen shared here. Great. Well, thanks so much for having me. Um, it's great to be able to talk to you guys. I know most people are familiar with Dubai, but perhaps Abu Dhabi a little bit less so. Um, so I'm going to give you a very brief overview. Abu Dhabi is an incredibly diverse destination. It's got everything from beach to culture to family attractions. So I'm going to give you a very broad strokes overview, and then you're very welcome to ask me any questions you might have at the end. So to get you situated a little bit, um, this is the UAE. Everything in red is Abu Dhabi, so you can see it's by far the largest emirate. Um, you've got Dubai over here, just about 45 minutes drive from Abu Dhabi, so you can absolutely do a twin center if you wanted, or fly into Dubai if that's convenient. Um, you've got the second city of Alain um, over to the east there, that's if you've been to Abu Dhabi a couple of times and you want to delve a little bit more into the culture, you'll find lots of historic forts um, and some really authentic uh, Emirati culture over there. And then all of this bit here is Al Dafra, this very vast expanse of desert. Um, so I always recommend anybody that comes to Abu Dhabi to spend at least one evening going out into the desert. Uh, it's really a once in a lifetime uh, experience. You can do anything from dune bashing to camel trekking to having an evening out under the stars. There's some incredible hotels out there. Uh, Anantara, Qasr al Sarab for one. It's just dunes as far as the eye can see. It's very much a once in a lifetime um, kind of place to stay. And then just going back into the city of Abu Dhabi itself, where most likely you'll be selling um, most of your consumers. So you can see it's actually a collection of a lot of islands, um, which makes it great for anybody who loves the beach. It means there's tons and tons of coastline for you to explore. Uh, it's very easy to get around. Uh, there's bridges and uh, highways that connect everything. But you've got four main areas that I'll quickly kind of go into. So you've got the Corniche over there. You've got the Grand Canal. You've got Yath Island and you've got Sadia Island. So to go into each one, we're gonna start off with the Corniche, and that's the most downtown feeling, maybe the most Dubai feeling. Uh, this is where you get this beautiful skyline, you can actually just see right behind me. Um, and it's sort of the most hustle and bustle, but you really don't have to go far to get into the cultural side of Abu Dhabi as well. So right so against all of these beautiful skyscrapers, you have Qasr al Hassan, which is the oldest uh, building in Abu Dhabi. It's where the ruling family it used to live hundreds of years ago and now it's a museum where you can learn about how Abu Dhabi has emerged from basically what used to be kind of a small fishing village about a hundred years ago to the modern metropolis that it is today so really really interesting and then just next door you have Qasr al-Watan which is the current presidential palace an absolutely stunning building it just opened to the public uh, about last year um, so you can just take a tour through uh, you can get a guided tour or at, in the evening they have a light and sound show actually projected on the building. So great entertainment, especially for the family if you're staying nearby the Corniche. Second area that I'll touch on is the Grand Canal and that is really dominated by the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque, which you might have heard of. It's probably the most Abu Dhabi, most quintessential Abu Dhabi attraction. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. It's rated by TripAdvisor as the third best a uh, landmark in the entire world to visit. It beat out the likes of the Taj Mahal. Um, it's free to enter, enter, free guided tours. 
And the only thing to consider is that there is a dress code, but as you can imagine, that's with most places of worship. So um, they also give out abayas there for free if you're not wearing the correct clothing. So definitely something to always check out when you're in Abu Dhabi. And then there's some amazing hotels just across this canal. So this is the view from the Shangri-La against the uh, Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque in the background. So you can see it's a really, really unique place to stay and absolutely beautiful. Then we've got Yas Island, which is the entertainment sort of family hub. We've got three incredible theme parks there. Warner Brothers World, which is all indoors, completely indoors, which is great for the summer months. Um, it's made up of six immersive lands that you go through. So um, like Bedrock with the Flintstones or Gotham City with uh, Batman and the Joker. Um, lots of 5D rides. So you're kind of sat there and it feels like you're flying around through Gotham City or whatever. They even have smell a vision so I know what dragon's breath smells like now from going to Warner Brothers World. Um, there's Ferrari World Abu Dhabi as well. It has the world's fastest roller coaster in the entire world. Yas Water World which is rated the best water park in the Middle East. And then the newest one to open we had is Climb Abu Dhabi. It has the world's tallest indoor climbing wall and the world's biggest indoor skydiving chamber and that's just connected to Yas Mall and uh, for our world Abu Dhabi. So it's all really, really easy to get around on Yas Island. There's even a free shuttle bus that takes you between all of the attractions. You've also got Yas Marina Circuit on there where we have the Formula One race. It's the climactic end to the season every year. Um, it's going to be taking place without spectators this year, but you know, we hope with everything, everything's going to be back to normal in 2021. Um, there's also really great sport offerings, including golf. So we have three championship golf courses through Abu Dhabi one of which is on Yas Island. Um, it's rated the number one uh, golf course in all of the Middle East. And as you can see, it's really, really beautiful there set up against um, the ocean backdrop. Again, as it's completely surrounded by ocean, there's tons of water sports to be done. You've got kayaking, snorkeling. Um, there's some really great wildlife. You've got hawksbill turtles, dugongs, uh, dolphins, it's a lot to explore, even some coral reefs. And one of the newer attractions to open up is this mangrove boardwalk just between Yas Island and Sadia Island. So you can just walk through for a lovely afternoon. You can also do stand up paddle boarding or kayaking through there and see all of the wildlife. There's thousands of species of birds that call this area home. Really, really lovely. And then lastly, we've got Sadia Island, which is really beach bliss. Uh, as you can see there, people wouldn't always necessarily associate an image like that with the Middle East. Maybe they think that we're in the Caribbean or the Maldives, um, but you've just got nine kilometers of pristine white sands along Sadia Island, five five-star luxury resorts on there as well that all share this, um, this beach. It's all protected as well, so no motorized sports or anything as endangered hawksbill turtles come to lay their eggs here every spring. Um, really, really cool thing to see as well if you get to see some of the um, turtles hatching. And then on the other side of Sadia Island, there's also a growing cultural district. So we have the Zayed National Museum is going to be opening up in the next couple of years. At the bottom there, we've got the Guggenheim Abu Dhabi is going to be opening up as well. So that's all modern art. And then the crown jewel that we have right now is the Louvre Abu Dhabi. And that opened up in 2017. Um, I always tell people, even if you're not into art, definitely um, visit just for the building itself. Um, you can see there it's this big dome that um, kind of covers up the entire museum and you get this beautiful rain of light that comes through. Um, it's got works from the Louvre in Paris as well as their own collection and you can even go there for sundowner drinks. Uh, we've got beautiful rooftop patio and Bouquets from Champs-Élysées in Paris has also just opened up a fine dining restaurant there as well and really really affordable. Um, so I always recommend as well, especially if you're staying on Sadia Island, to take a visit to Louvre Abu Dhabi. And then just off of Sadia Island as well, you've got a little private island, Zayunure Island, all boutique um, villas. And I just like to point this out that especially in the times that we're in uh, where people are going to be valuing a little bit more of pr privacy and seclusion, um, you've got something in Abu Dhabi for everyone from this really high end um, all luxury villas down to the more affordable uh, family hotels on Yas Island. You can kind of find something that fits for every, every consumer. So to round it out, of course, in the UK, we're always looking for sunshine. Abu Dhabi has that. It rains about three to four days a year on average. Um, so great for the winter sun coming into 2021 or Easter. Um, such a diverse destination. You can really have almost two different vacations in one. 
with a bit of desert, or a bit of beach um, or culture or just taking your kids to all the different theme parks. Um, and if you want to find out anything else at all, I always recommend that you visit our website, visit abidabi.ae. And as well, we actually just launched a brand new online training platform in May called abudabispecialist.com. Um, it takes about 45 minutes to complete. It's completely free. And if you do complete it, you are in for a chance to win. We're giving away 150 pound love to shop vouchers, as well as one grand prize of a five star trip for two to Abu Dhabi to be departing in 2021. So definitely recommend you check out abudabispecialist.com. There's lots of resources you can keep going back to, um, like itineraries to give to your clients, images to use, and as well, our contact information. If you ever have any questions at all, I would love to hear from you. So you can find that all out on our website there. Brilliant, thank you Aspen. That's just opened my eyes and I've, I've actually been to Abu Dhabi, but that has just given me like a complete reminder of how amazing it is. So thank you very much. Um, so we're now going to move to the Fairmont Hotels. Um, over to you. Yes, good morning everyone. Uh, my name is Ahmed, I uh, will be presenting today for Management uh, with this lovely view you're seeing right now. Uh, well, uh, let me give you just quick information about uh, Ajman as Emirates. Ajman is the closest Emirate to uh, Dubai, uh, especially it's just uh, 30 minutes from Dubai International Airport uh, to Ajman. Uh, for firm on Ajman, this is the view where all your clients or guests will be staying with us, having the same view. About firm management, we have uh, 252 rooms. All the rooms has a sea view, the same view you see now, and private balconies as well. And we have 200 meters uh, private beach we have. And also the picture here is missing. We have aqua bounds also for our guests in house and the families and the kids. They can enjoy its complimentary also uh, access to using the aqua bounds uh, during the stay in firm management. And uh, we'll start with the, the lobby bar. It's called Azraq in Arabic, it's uh, blue. This is our lounge where the guests can get the coffee, cold, uh, hot and cold drinks, uh, sweets, and also it's exactly opposite the front desk where they do the chicken. And here our standard room, which is the permanent room. Uh, all our rooms, uh, it's having seen that the sea view and private balconies, this is the king size bed. And the same room type, which is permanent view, we have another uh, units, which is twin uh, queen size bed. Uh, for also, this can take uh, two adults plus two kids or three adults plus one infant. This, we're moving the other room types and didn't want to show it to you all, but we have already the standard room, the permanent view. We have a one bedroom suite. We have two bedroom suite. Uh, the, also the two bedroom suite we have, it can accommodate the six adults. Uh, all the rooms has the tea and coffee facilities, complimentary, the gym, the coffee machine, and uh, the bath tap and the outside of the room for the suites, but in the normal washroom in the standard rooms. For fair management, also we provide the all meal plans starting from the bed and breakfast, the hub board, the full board, and all inclusive. You see here in the picture our spectrum restaurant. It's the all day dining restaurant. The guests can have the breakfast and lunch and dinner buffet there. And also we have another restaurant we'll be showing to you. It's a Gua restaurant. It's an Italian restaurant where the guests also can use it. Uh, this we have indoor and outdoor restaurant. Uh, the meals we serve there, it's international. Uh, cuisines and also we have a private section for the kids also for the meals for the kids. Uh, our Kia restaurant is a Turkish style restaurant. It's a Turkish restaurant. Has, we have also a evening time. We have a live uh, band. Uh, also there is outdoor area. It's uh, most of the guests preferred at least once uh, per stay. They go and enjoy the dinner there. The guests that having the all-inclusive concept can also use the uh, Turkish reason as an uh, option to have one uh, one time dinner there. We uh, we can give it, we're doing a credit, but it's not from the like like per person we give around 100 to 150 dirhams. We can be consumed during uh, the dinner. Anything additional it will be uh, as a supplement for the And this is our Joya Italian restaurant. There is indoor and outdoor. 
So also the guests uh, prefer to go there for dinner to try Italian cuisines and the different dishes from Italy. Uh, our uh, Badr Lounge, this open during the winter, is uh, starting from October till April next year. The guests, most of the guests prefer to stay there and then to sit in the Badr Lounge to smoke shisha. They have drinks, they watch also the sunset uh, in the afternoon. That's our salt and sea pool bar. Uh, the guests can enjoy also drinking, eating snacks during the they having enjoying the sun and the pool, and also the guest uh, folks all inclusive. They can enjoy the aquatic drinks and soft drinks also uh, from that, including the all inclusive uh, concept as well. That's our the cave uh, cave sport bar. The guest it's uh, serving alcoholic and during and for the all inclusive until evening uh, 11 o'clock evening time uh, but it's still open till three o'clock in the morning but also the guests we can use there the billiard and other uh, watch the sport games there of course with our uh, spa we have turkish hammam nine treatment rooms uh, relaxation nail and uh, here uh, beautiful the women as well And our kids' room, we have the kids' club, and also in the pool side, we have a kids' pool. We have different uh, activities for the kids we, upon check in to give them the whole program what's going every day as a program for the kids uh, during the stay in the kids' club activities there. And the opening from 7 o'clock in the morning until the, sorry, from 10 o'clock in the morning until 7 o'clock in the evening, the kids' club uh, operating. And this is the kids area. And of course, we have the sport on water activities uh, located on the, on the shore. So also our guest house can use it and enjoy the activities there. And we do uh, arrange complementary equipment and transfer to the golf club. It's around 15 minutes uh, by car. If any of the kids would like to enjoy it, to enjoy the golf there. And uh, yes, that's mostly about the fair management. Also, we provide the shuttle bus to Dubai Mall and the uh, Charger City Center and Ajman City Center. The three shuttle bus for three different malls one in Charger, one in Ajman, and one in Dubai, which is Dubai Mall. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, you can contact me. I will be sharing also the email. and. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you very much, Hamed. Um, that looked amazing. I tell you that that picture that you've got that was that beautiful uh, rooftop terrace, and you mentioned the shisha. I, I was yes. there. I was comfortable there. It looked amazing. Um, you got some really good comments on the hotels. Yes, this one exactly. Yes. Wow. Um, <laughs> <for you. laughs> Super. Thank you. Well, thank you. Looking very, forward very much. to see you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm here. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Okay, so um, if you could stop sharing and yes. yeah. Sangeeta, it is over to you and your team to show us your address hotels. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thanks everyone for joining us. Um, I'll um, dedicate this uh, session to Mehdi. Mehdi is going to show us around our beautiful, beautiful um, Skyview Hotel. Um, over to you. And we've got on the, uh, on the webinar today Lorenzo who uh, is sitting uh, with the backdrop of our, our new hotel that opens up in December. So uh, we'll, we'll say hello at the end, but over to you, Mehdi. Hi, good morning, everyone. A uh, big hello from Adris Skyview Hotel. So I'm here today to uh, represent um, the Adris Hotels and Resorts and MR Hospitality as group. Um, so um, starting with the um, Adris brand, as you might know, so uh, MR Hospitality got five star brands, which is the Adris. I'm sure you might have heard about it. And then we've got the four star brands, which is Avida Hotel and Resorts. And then we've got the three star brand, which is uh, Rob Hotels, which is more for youngsters. Um, today I'm presenting mainly the five star um, uh, brands and some upcoming new projects. And then uh, we will um, uh, include the, the, or the, the presentation with a nice video, uh, specifically for the address Skyview Hotel, which is the recent hotel that opened last year. 
Um, this is the current portfolio. As you can see, the Adris Downtown Hotel, which is our flagship property, just overlooking the beautiful fountain of Dubai. Um, it's got 222 rooms. Uh, then we have the Adris Boulevard with 196 rooms, um, also with a direct link to Dubai Mall via the um, Metrolink. Um, and we have Adris Dubai Mall Hotel with 244 rooms. This is an amazing hotel. I personally work there eight years. It's a nice hotel. Link directly with Dubai Mall, perfect for families, shoppers. It's an amazing destination that everybody loves. Uh, then we've got the Palace downtown. So it's uh, 242 rooms. This is kind of um, a resort within the city. It has an amazing view over Burj Khalifa and the fountain as well. For those who like Marina and to be much closer to, to the beach, so the Adris Dubai Marina is a perfect location. It's got uh, 200 rooms. Um, very nice uh, view, uh, very close also to Abu Dhabi and uh, also uh, to uh, the second airport now. Um, it's, it's, it's amazing. It has a beautiful view over um, Dubai Marina. Adres Montgomery is 21 rooms and suites. Uh, this is uh, for the golfers. Everyone loves golf, so this is the perfect location where you can be. Small property, but such an amazing and beautiful uh, property. Recently renewed as well. The current newly opened uh, portfolio, which I'm uh, speaking from, is the Adris Skyview, uh, opened uh, 10 months ago in December 2019. 169 rooms, uh, beautiful property. And then we've got also the Adris Fountain Views, which is 193 rooms. The good thing about these both properties is they are both located in the heart of Dubai, in the Adris, um, I mean, in the downtown area. It's just that the view for Adris Fountain is just directly towards Burj Khalifa and the fountains. And Adris Sky View has a 360 view. So you can see the sea and you can see the downtown area as well as um, Burj Khalifa. So to talk more about the Adris Sky View, so this hotel opened in um, 25th December 2019. Um, I'm sure everyone heard about this iconic building. It's such beautiful property in the downtown now got 169 rooms, uh, we've got amazing suites as well, luxury uh, restaurants, um, amazing spa just located on the roof on the 54th floor. Uh, I'm sure if you Google or if you check um, in TripAdvisor, you will see a lot of comments and beautiful pictures up from 54th floor. We've got also um, uh, one of the largest uh, gyms in all the address hotels and resorts. Um, apparently it used to be 24 hours, but after the pandemic now we restricted a little bit the timings and then um, it, it works by booking, but it's still good for everyone who'd like to, to have a nice um, techno gym equipment and all that. So it's, it's great place. We've got also a nice, um, um, I would say uh, space for children. We've got a kids club, we've got a kids pool. Um, so it's a beautiful property that I'm speaking from and I would love you to join soon and come and visit us. Uh, there are a couple of hotels on the pipeline for Adris Hotels and Resorts for 2020. Uh, and to be more specific, I would start with the first property that's going to be in the beach for Adris Hotels, which is Adris Jumeirah. Similar to the Adris Skyview, but this is um, more iconic and just in the beach exactly with 217 rooms. So we're expecting to open this in December. Hopefully we celebrate the new year from there. Um, so if you, if you know Dubai a bit, it's just in the GBR. Jumeirah Beach Residences, uh, 30 minutes away from Dubai Airport, 15 minutes away from um, Blue Water Island, and just 10 minutes from Palm Jumeirah. And we've got Lorenzo on the webinar, who is the Assistant Dir Director of Sales there, and he's sitting with the backdrop of, uh, of the building itself. It's absolutely stunning and spot on in terms of its location. It's very, very um, ideally situated, right? Exactly. So um, as a hotel fact, um, I would say it's, um, it's a five-star renting property uh, with 217 rooms. Of course, it will have uh, all the dining, a rooftop bar, uh, specialty restaurants, so um, amazing spa as well, two pools, one on just on the bottom by the beach and one upstairs on the rooftop. It's just that's going to be higher than Skyview. Skyview is 54th floor. I think they will be having it by 74 on a row. Adris Fujera, uh, it's in the pipeline. Beautiful uh, resorts in Fujera Emirates. Um, gonna open on March uh, 2021. If you know, um, Fujera is like uh, one hour and 45 minutes approximately uh, from Dubai. Um, everyone actually is um, 
not willing to wait more for this property to open because this will be our only uh, address property in another Emirates, which is Fujera, such a beautiful property over the beach. Palace Fujera, just right um, um, address Fujera, also expected to open um, in March uh, 2021. As you can see, same location, uh, it will be also by the beach, 167 rooms. And that's all about the presentation. And uh, just to speak more about address Skyview, which I'm representing today, I would like to um, share with you a small little video uh, that you can have a look at. And then after that, I have a little surprise for you all.
it has both balconies, one in the living area, one in the room, and then one in the dining area. It's private also. It has a door in case you want to privatize it. And then you've got a nice dining area. It can be also used for meetings. And then you've got the balcony as well. The good thing about the presidential suite is it can be also connected to another room, which would be twins. So in case it's a big family, they can use the suite plus a room next to it. And look at the beautiful view. It has a direct beautiful view of Bush Khalifa and the downtown city. Allow me to show you the room. This one is connected to the side in case someone wants to book another room next to the presidential. It's connecting with it. On the other side, you've got the bedroom. This is the bedroom and the bathroom will be it's beautiful, nice, clean and tidy, very elegant design. And this is the favorite part, very nice and beautiful bathroom will be it. I'm not sure what happened there. Maddie, are you still there? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Aspen, apparently we're having some technical issues. So you've been, you, they've put you as a host. Can you pass the hosting to me, please? Oh, just a second. Just, Medi, hold the line. Sorry about this, guys. Just stand by. You click on the Espen, if you click on the participants and you should be able to see how you can there, yeah, yeah, I think I've I've it now. Yeah? yeah? Okay. Yeah. Right. So Medi, sorry, continue. You were going to show us the, the view. Yeah, so um Welcome to come to Skyview and enjoy the infinity pool and the view from the 54th floor.
Thank you. Thank you very much, Nedi. Um, so we'll we'll now go on to uh, the questions and answers. Sarah is having difficulty getting in back, so I will um, try and step in. So we've got the first question: Ward board bases will be available at Address Fijera. Um, I can answer that, uh, Medi, or maybe you want to answer that. Sorry, which one? So what board bases will be available at Address Fujera? I think we're looking at all-inclusive and we're looking at um, a half board. I think the three options will be there. So um, of course, most of the room will be sold on BB and then uh, the option of course for half board and football will be there because technically it's a resort and we want all our guests to use mainly the restaurants. As you know, Fujera doesn't have a lot of fine dining or restaurants outside where you can go and see. Oh, definitely there will be an option, of course, of full board and half board. And uh, uh, Pankaj Mata has asked, how many restaurants? For address for Gerard, there will be one all-day dining restaurant and there will be the pool bar, of course, and the in-room dining. But the main restaurants will be split into sections, so whereby, uh, same like on um, address um, resort. So you will have a section where you can have it, same like proper fine dining and some areas like a kitchen, very casual, and an area, of course, which is outdoor where you can have a smoking and all this. Um, uh, Daryl has asked, does the address offer a brunch option um, and uh, what does it cost? Yes, of course, everybody offers brunch op options. Oh, Sarah is back. Sarah, do you want to take over? I'm back. Sorry, I've just literally come back in. Sorry, I got thrown out. Um, we're just, um, let me just do the address questions and then I will hand you, uh, hand, hand, hand it back to you. So um, does the address offer a brunch option? Yes, we will be having brunch, of course, very soon. As you know, the weather in Dubai was quite hot, so most of the branches were, were, were not happening. But definitely starting from October, we're looking forward to have a branch in address Skyview and all the other properties in downtown. Brilliant. I'll tell you which one is the best one uh, to uh, recommend to your customers is the, the brunch at Iwan. It's my favorite. It's, it's small, but uh, the, the quality of food, the seafood, oh my God, it's galore. Anyways, not about me. So the next question we have is on Skyview. Uh, uh, Greg's asking, can we have the video of address Skyview email to us as the video was frozen on my PC? Yes, no problem. What we'll do is we will upload it onto EMA Rewards. So if you're part of EMA Rewards, then you will be able to download that and use it on your social media or, or for your personal use. Um, and that's over to you, Sarah. I started from the bottom top. So I just answered all, we just answered all the address. Over to you. Um, Sangeeta, because I left, because it threw me out, I can't see any of the questions anymore. The, okay, it's blank. no problem. So, I'll continue can, then. Um, this you. is a quest, question for you, Aspen. Um, are Abu Dhabi or Ajman dry states? So, I yeah, for Abu Dhabi at least, no, definitely not. We're not a dry state. Um, you can absolutely have amazing all-inclusive there. We even have Friday brunches in Abu Dhabi as well. Um, uh, the only thing, obviously, during Ramadan, things change a little bit. Some restaurants won't be serving alcohol, but for the most part, hotels and most of the hotels that UK customers book are pretty much business as usual. So you can still absolutely have a cocktail by the pool. It's nothing to worry about there. Um, and Ajman, is Ahmed still there? Um, I think he's lost the connection as well. Um, yeah. So, uh, but Ajman, you, you, all the international hotels are licensed, so no, it isn't a dry state. The only dry state in the in the um, uh, in the UAE is uh, Sharjah. So, next question again is for you, uh, Aspen. This is from Cheryl um, Abu Dhabi. How easy is it to travel between the areas? So yeah, as you can see on that map, we have sort of four main areas in a bit of a square and to get between each of them is maybe about 30 minutes by car. It's really well connected. Um, taxis are plentiful and cheap and they even have Uber there, which is my favorite way to get around. Um, just pop it in. Uh, I don't have to worry about, you know, language barrier, anything like that at all. Taxi drivers all generally speak English anyways. Um, 
like I said, there's also a free shuttle service that takes you around Yas Island to all the attractions, and they also actually take you over to Stadia Island and to the Corniche as well. So if you're just going for theme parks, look out for the Yas Express. So free shuttle bus that will take you over to Yas Island. Brilliant. We've got some more questions that have popped up, and that's uh, from Sabrina. Are we able to please have special offers with Jaira and address Jumeirah Beach? For Jumeirah Be Beach, yes, you can. Uh, I will uh, reach out to you. I'll do a follow-up email. Uh, but for Fajaira, not yet. We will uh, we will have offers out by January. So uh, please keep in touch. Um, you've got uh, we've got for Aspen again. You've got a question for, uh, from Ushma. Um, she says, "Does Etihad boarding pass still turn into the Abu Dhabi pass?" Yes. So we're talking about yeah, Etihad Airways, our national airline. Uh, the boarding pass that they give you, it actually turns into the extraordinary Abu Dhabi pass and it gives you discounts at things all around the city from attractions to restaurants to spa treatments. So yes, it was, was something that they were doing last year in initiative and they have decided to keep it going. So for now, at least the extraordinary Abu Dhabi pass yeah. is still going and definitely a sort of added value bonus to recommend to your clients. Thanks for pointing Great. that out. Yeah. Fab. Thanks. Um, so, Lydia, um, the recommendation for brunch was E1, which is uh, the restaurant in the Palace downtown. And then Hina is asking, uh, what's the best place for brunch in Abu Dhabi, Aspen, for you? Uh, yeah, there's some really great options. They have things like brunch in the sky uh, with St. Regis. Emirates Palace is one that is quite famous. So Emirates Palace is situated along the Corniche. Actually, you can see right behind me there. Um, it's beautiful. Um, it is right beside Kasser al Watan as well. So the presidential palace. So you can go see the presidential palace and then go have brunch in the Emirates Palace and have quite a royal day for yourself. It's really great there, yeah. Fab. And that's all the questions and answers for today. Um, over to you, Sarah to close the session. Brilliant. Thank you very much and thanks for stepping in there, Sangi. So I got completely thrown off. So um, thank you everybody. Um, so just to give a reminder, did you cover off again about the email booking rewards and um, everybody must be signed up. Um, and we'll um, so just in case you haven't covered it, the booking that you do can be entered now onto myarabianrewards.com. Um, and then what we'll be doing for the next four weeks so is every Monday, we'll do a spin to win with all of the bookings that are logged and one person will win £50. Uh, but keep your eyes posted on, on the Arabian Rewards and there'll be a lot of stuff coming up and a lot of exciting news and information for you. Um, so for me, that is it. Um, and I would just like to really, really thank you all for your support and for coming on and to hear about all of it. And for everybody that's watching later on, um, thank you too as well for, for taking the time to, to look at the presentations and uh, to want to learn. So thank you team, um, Aspen, Lorenzo, Ahmed, Sangeeta, Mehdi, thank, thank you. you so much for taking thank the you. time. It's really, really Thank you guys, thank um, you very much. Is there anything else? Yeah. Thanks, bye. Thank you. You're very welcome. So, so we'll see you same time next week on the Arabian Corner. Okay, everybody, bye. bye.